Previously, we studied before reflection identities, and we learned that simplifying a trigonometric function with a reflection argument is the same function but with the sign of the quarter. Now we are going to study rotation identities. What is meant by rotation identities? Rotation identities are identities results from rotating an angle theta around the origin. Given an angle theta that corresponds the point x and y coordinates, what do you think the measure of this angle would be when rotating 90 degrees clockwise or pi over 2? The new angle would be pi over 2 plus theta. What do you think the coordinates of its corresponding point would be? The coordinates of the corresponding point would be negative y and x. The x-coordinate of the image is negative the y-coordinate of the original. So, the cosine of the angle pi over 2 plus theta is equal to negative the y-coordinate of angle theta, which is the sine of angle theta. The y-coordinate of the image is the x-coordinate of the original point. So, the sine of the angle pi over 2 plus theta is equal to x, which is the cosine of the original theta. What angle results from rotating angle theta pi or 180 degrees around the origin? The angle results from rotating theta pi around the origin is pi plus theta, which also results from reflection across the origin and gives us negative x and negative y, so we will skip it now to avoid confusion. Now, what do you think the measure of this angle would be when rotating theta 3 pi over 2 or 270 degrees clockwise? The new angle would be 3 pi over 2 plus theta. What do you think the coordinates of its corresponding point would be? The coordinates of the corresponding point would be negative y and x. The x-coordinate of the image is negative the y-coordinate of the original. So, the cosine of the angle pi over 2 plus theta is equal to negative y which means negative the sine of angle theta. The y-coordinate of the image is the x-coordinate of the original point. So, the sine of the angle 3 pi over 2 plus theta is equal to x, which is the cosine of the original theta. We are left with one possible angle, the angle 3 pi over 2 minus theta, which results from rotating this point 90 degrees clockwise. What do you think the coordinates of this point would be? The coordinates of this point would be negative y and negative x. The x-coordinate of the point that corresponds angle 3 pi over 2 minus theta is equal to negative the y-coordinate of the original point, so cosine of 3 pi over 2 minus theta is equal to negative sine theta. Also, the y-coordinate of the point that corresponds angle 3 pi over 2 minus theta is equal to negative the x-coordinate of the original point. So, sine 3 pi over 2 minus theta is equal to negative cosine theta. To sum up, no need to memorize all these identities. Every trig function that has an argument of pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2 is equal to its co-function, but with the sine of the function in this quarter. For example, cosine pi over 2 plus theta is equal to sine of theta, but cosine is negative in the second quadrant so it becomes negative sine theta.